also been a mark for completion. One very, very critical project that is dear to the administration is the Advanced Logistic Centre in Owale. ESCO approved the additional works and, of course, procurement that will make it uh, world class. And the Minister of uh, Health has also been given the match in order to ensure that um, work in that particular centre is fast tracked. Due to the Mother and Child Medical Centre, still in the Carnot East, additional work and effort to make sure that we are able to complete it in good time for the use of our people here in Delta. And uh, at the beginning or at the commencement of today's school, uh, the Deputy Governor presented the memo with respect to the traditional stool of Onopoko uh, of Kingdom in Indukwa East and uh, Isaac. Isaac Ajiwobu was uh, approved as the ideologue uh, of that particular kingdom. Of course, you know that uh, the ruling houses are before this time picked in as their ideologue. What we did here is to give approval to that, at least from where we also forward it to the House of Assembly. There were also very, very crucial decisions that uh, were taken today, one of which had to do with our intervention in the flood challenge in Wari, Uwe, and Everance. So I will invite the DG of the Wari, Uwe, and Everance Development Agency to take you through a number of the milestone achievements by the agency with respect to addressing the challenges confronting Wari and also our design to take it far more than where we are at the moment. So that at the end of the day, or possibly in 2023, where we'll be running up as an administration, we can safely beat our chest to say that Wari has indeed regained its glory. The digital. Thank you, Herb Commissioner. Thank you, my colleagues. Um, yes, that's actually giving you the full headline. It also points to say that we are witnesses to the finance. In 2020, precisely January, two companies were awarded the job to make sure that worry defloated because of the perennial annual flooding of the area. When I mean worry, that worry and who and their journey in their communities. Unfortunately, not far after that, the COVID, the pandemic started, and then, of course, we're all aware of the lockdown here and there. And as a result of that, Part of the whole year of 2020, there was really no much done. But I'm happy to tell you today that as today, one of the companies, CCECC, which is having the phase two, has achieved over 50% of the initial contracts, while Levant Nigeria Limited has achieved a bit over 40%. And I can tell you, even you know, for those who are worried, if you go there now, a lot of the areas where we have already worked, the people are happy.
uh, discovered that there was a need to also tackle part of what was originally in phase two, phase three, and phase four, because not doing so may mean that some of the challenges will still persist. And that is why you are seeing these uh, new additions. And we will hope by the grace of God that in the due distant time, we are able to complete uh, this work. Then, of course, the governor have also said that uh, he's going to intensify supervision of um, uh, projects. And to that extent, uh, tomorrow he will be visiting some project sites here in the capital territory, specifically the Denis Osadebe University, where a lot of work is uh, ongoing with the view to ensuring that uh, they are able to meet up with the next academic year for the resumption of new students. And then also the leisure park and um, and um, what is it called? Uh, the leisure park and the field village, so that it's able to see what the fate of work and then uh, understand uh, whether the contractors or indeed the supervising ministry is having any challenge. So those are some of the uh, issues we discussed at today's uh, ESCO. The way a few other things are being considered, particularly the need for us to tap into the CBN uh, program, the area of agriculture, for the government, uh, the ESCO has asked the committee that is uh, taking a look at that. That was particular was approved for the purpose of getting our people to key into that CBN um, uh, program. We have approved it before for some adjustments to make it a work and work more for our people. Then the agro-industrial park in above Washi. Also effort to ensure that we get the investors to kickstart the process of construction of their different factories was also considered at today's school. Uh, the only thing the school did at the end of the day was to ask the committee to try and dot the I and cross the T's and then bring it back in the next uh, school for the purpose of uh, approving some of the recommendations of the implementation committee. All the, implement, all the recommendations is the view to ensuring that uh, the agro-industrial park come on stream fully. So much is going on there, the number of uh, investors having indicated interest. And so that's all for today's school. We'll take your questions.